you guys, it's Rachel from Little Ring Lamb, and today I have a book haul, and I got a lot of gift cards for my birthday to go to the bookstore, so I was really excited, and I just today bought some books I really wanted to get for a while, so I'm going to get into it. Some of them are in bags, though, but um, I took them out of the bag, so I already filmed this once, but then I forgot to say what some of these were about. So, yeah. I don't know all the synopsises, so some I might be like looking on the inside cover and reading, but the first book I got was Dare You To by Katie McGarry, and this is the sequel to... Well, not the sequel. This is a companion novel to Pushing the Limits, and I really loved that book. I read it during the book two font, fell in love with it, and I really wanted to read this one, so yeah. And this one's based on a new set of characters, and yeah, it's a pretty long description, so I'm not going to bore you guys with it. But yeah, I don't think it matters what order you read them in either, but I think it makes sense to read the first one first, because you'll know the character. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the second book I got was Sever by Lauren De Stefano, and this is the third and final book in the Chemical Garden trilogy, so obviously I'm not going to tell you what the synopsis is about. Um, but basically I've been wanting this since February, um, when it came out, I was going to get it, but then I kept forgetting to get it, and I couldn't find it at my local branch, so it was a little difficult. And finally I got it. I've been seeing it for a while, but I don't think, I have a hard time accepting that series are over, so I don't want to get it, because I don't want it to be, like, concluded, but I really want to know what happens at the same time. The next book I've, like, found sounded like a really fun book to read, and it's Rockaholic by C.J. Scoos, and this cover is really captivating. I don't know why, I just, I just, I think the brightness of the colors and the, the fil filter they have it on, the gradient, I think that's it. And this girl, basically, um, she's addicted to, um, Jackson Gatlin of the Regulators, and I guess it's a band, and it says, and after her best bud Max scores tickets, she's front and center at the sold-out concert. And she gets mashed in the mosh pit and body serves, and she suffers from a mild concussion. Um, by the next morning, the strung out rock star is coming down in her garage, and she kidnapped him by accident, and now he doesn't want to leave. And the thing that really got me wanting to read it says, It's a rock star abduction worthy of an MTV series, but who got punked? And I was like, because I love some series on MTV, um, some of the reality shows, so I was like, that's a really, yeah. Well, that's a really um, good line to hook people that like that channel on. Sorry I seem kind of scattered in this. I'm like, ugh. I just don't, like, I'm just really overtired. Um, so the next book I got was 102, 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Herstad. And I've been hearing about this in the BookTube community, like, the BookTube world for quite a while. And I love the new cover with it. I'd seen the hardcover, but I really like this one because it makes it creepier. And basically this is about, um, it says there's a reason we never went back. So it's been decades since anyone set foot on the moon. And now three kids get the chance to go there. And it's Mia, Midori, and Anto Antoine. And basically it says that something sinister is waiting for them on the desolate surface of the moon. So, yeah, it sounds really creepy and really good. The next book I got is one that's very, very popular on this booktube com community, and it's Legend by Mary Lou, and I'm not going to really explain this one because this one is, like, extremely popular. It's a dystopian, and, yeah, it doesn't really have a synopsis anywhere really on the book, really, like, a like a full synopsis, but I know the second one's out, too, and so many people have been talking about this, and I finally decided to just buy it and read it because it's getting such good hype, and it sounded pretty good, too. The last and final book I got is an adult book, and it's Revenge Wears Prada by Lauren Wiesberger, and this one was, I got it because it was mainly 40% off, and it's the sequel to The Devil Wears Prada, and this takes place, I think, 10 years later, and I really love The Devil Wears Prada. I haven't read it since grade 7, and that's, that's like 6 years, 5-6 years. So I was planning on reading The Devil Wears Prada a little while ago and then watching the movie again. So now I have the sequel to read, so I'm very excited. It hasn't gotten very good reviews, but I want to see for myself. Um, but I've seen mixed reviews. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys.